Hello, and welcome to the first ever Best Of episode of Celebrity Match from the first season. I'm Sophie. And I'm Riley. Now let's start off by showing you the mastermind behind these matches. We were goofing around one day and found a website called celebslike.me, where you can enter your picture and it will give you a celebrity lookalike. When I inserted my picture, I matched with Meryl Streep. She's like my favorite actress. Mama Mia was great, and I can't wait for the second one. <laughs> and when I did my match, I matched with Spencer Locke. That one girl from Monster House? I think that's where she's from. After getting our responses, we decided it'd be a good idea if we asked some teachers around the school, and we got some great answers. And now, after a year of finding various matches from various teachers, here are our favorites. Starting off this episode is history teacher, Mr. Nathan McAllister. Oh my God, false. <laughs> There's no way. No way. Seinfeld, Jurassic Park. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, gotta go. Jack Black. Jack All Black. Right. Definitely Jack Black. It's the only one I'd go with. Up next, we have language arts teacher, Ms. Shauna Anderson. What? <laughs> Who is that? American film critic? It's an old guy. An old white guy. Huh. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> um, are you happy with your match? No, I'm not. Do you think this website is accurate? I think it's stupid. No, I don't think it's accurate. Now it's time for the girls head basketball coach, Mr. Matt Tinsley. I don't even know who they are. Um, I don't think I look like them, but... Do you think this website's a hoax? It has to be. Wow, those first three were really good. I agree, but these next three give the last three a run for their money. Up next, from week two, we have Mr. Sean Riley, French teacher. Oprah Winfrey? Oh, <laughs> Melora Hardin? I do see the resemblance. Seriously? Oh yeah, she's from The Office. Oh, I can't remember what her character's name was, um, but she's Michael Scott's boss slash girlfriend for a while. Computers do not lie. The internet is never wrong. So I guess I'm a pretty lady. Biology teacher Mrs. Jessica Popescu brings a good laugh for her match. Oh, that's not who I was expecting. That's strange. That's strange. <laughs> it's a 59% match. The math doesn't even work out. I don't know. Up next is everyone's favorite counselor and best friend, Mr. Steve Alexander. Richard Jenkins, oh yeah. Okay, that wouldn't be that bad. Richard Jenkins. For most people here, they've probably seen the movie Step Brothers, so Richard Jenkins was the, was the dad. He's old and doesn't have very much hair. I'm old, I don't have very much hair, maybe something like that. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting Mr. Riley's match. I don't think he was either. These next three weren't expecting their matches either. Miss Cassie Geis matches with a historical icon, but I don't think she was too happy about it. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Rosa Parks! <laughs> Do you think this is accurate? No! <laughs> the 
in this picture, this is old Rosa Parks. This isn't young Rosa Parks. I mean, she is amazing and I'm amazing, but I don't look like her. <laughs> You're rude, this rude. No. You look like Rosa Parks. <laughs>
but it is a important character from a movie. There's a movie called I, Robot, and one of the main characters is Sonny the Robot. I've been told I look like Sonny the Robot. <laughs> Patrick Stewart, who played um, um, Captain Picard on, uh, on Star Trek, because he's bald. So, um, you know, maybe somebody like that. Uh, I have been told I look like Kim Kardashian because baby's got back. Oh, I have been compared to the Verizon guy. People tell me I look like the toy collector from Toy Story 2. Yeah, um, basically just kind of any random nerd with glasses, they think I look like him. Um, I don't know that I think I look like anybody, but I've been told I look like the female lead in the movie Cry Baby with Johnny Depp. And then you guys just told me I look like April Kepner. Well, I guess it's safe to say the computer isn't always 100% accurate. But that's what makes it funny. All right, now for our final and favorite match, Mrs. Kelly Nyman's. I don't really have any words to describe it, and you're just going to have to watch it. <laughs> Let's go check it out. <laughs> Rico Rodriguez. The little, <laughs> the little guy on Modern Family. I don't even know. Well, that's just fascinating. Well, I love that little boy on Modern Family. So that's just precious. That was one of the funniest things I've seen in a while. What, her match or her reaction? Well, her match was really funny because she matched with a little boy, but her reaction is what really got me. I thought everything was funny from this season. So did I. All right, that's it for this edition of Celebrity Match Best Ofs. We hope you enjoyed. And if you did, feel free to do your own match on celebslike.me. I'm Sophie. And I'm Riley. And we'll see you next time. You're right, that is weird. I guess the guy who really loves rock hates country. Are we sure he lives in Kansas? <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, God! Okay. That was the funniest thing I've seen in a while. What, what her reaction or her match? Well, her match made me laugh or her reaction was not really yeah. I thought everything was funny. Wow, that's the funniest thing I've seen in a while. Uh, how to say that? What? Do I, what? Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Ready? Wow, that was one of the funniest things. Shoot, I, I didn't like it. Yeah.